Hello friends, this is Frank from Germany and wait a minute, that's not true. We are in Poland, yes, and I want to show you a small visit in Poland and Warsaw. Now you see the pictures. So this was Warsaw. I make a lot of sightseeing with my friend Sebastian and I'm a guest from Sebastian Safran. Let's go, come here. <laughs> Hello Sebastian. Hi guys. <laughs> Welcome everyone. Hi Frank. So not now for my living room. Now we make a little video session. Uh, yes, about our trip. He invited me and uh, yeah, we make some things in the basement. And uh, what's your plan for the next days? Years or months? Oh, years. <laughs> Maybe not days, but in matters of weeks. First of all, I'm I'm concentrating on uh, upgrading my K40. Ah, cool. Which I have for over a year and still didn't have time to really run it in production. Currently I'm searching for the best controller and uh, I think I will go for smoothie board. Smoothie board is cool. Yeah. There are a few guys which already use it and uh, I think I can be the next one who will smoothie. I get also a smoothie board from Arthur Wolf. Thank you on this side. Yeah, <laughs> uh, and I want to try to connect this uh, maybe for my next uh, machine, but I don't know uh, how can I use this now. Okay. okay. And okay. then I saw also, yeah, you make also 3D printing. Yes, we have some bad yeah. examples here. Um, it's an interesting thing. Uh, I want to show you the pictures from this. It's um, yeah, a corner sensor. You can say yeah, corner or touch and, and sensor. It's a CNC probe for non-conductive elements. Let's non say. I would elements, put it yeah. this way. So you can probe uh, plexiglass before you uh, try to uh, engrave it, for example, with a very low depth. Yeah, 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 or, okay. or you can probe anything like uh, you can probe a mouse, computer mouse, and then engrave your name on it and then yeah, yeah it sure. this yeah, yeah, I saw this, this yeah, kind of video. very very cool and yes you can also um, engrave glass and so on yeah. you can uh, check first uh, the, the surface yes it goes this. it goes on the surface yeah. even if it is not flat it, it will just go uh, for you so yeah it's a cool great. thing yeah the K40, okay, smoothie board, I saw this, everything is in the carton, yes, and it's not uh, finished now, and uh, yeah, it's a big project now. And um, also, you make some uh, eagle PCB milling? Yes, I had some adventure with the uh, chili pepper, which was great. The yeah. first one was Gerbal board, with my plywood CNC machine, which is not working anymore. We will take probably a picture and show a this. A big one, yes. A yes. big one. <laughs> then I've got a K40. Uh, sorry, there's uh, 3040. It's 40 and 40. CNC 3040, right. Uh, this CNC 3040, initially I tried to use with the Tiny G2. So Arduino Duo and G Shield. Thank you very much, Synthetus guys. Well, Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we got some. Uh, we got some uh, trouble uh, about Synthetos guys were very uh, happy to, to help me. There is still an issue with the uh, auto leveling on uh, this tiny G2. And it can make a break because of this airplane. Oh, yes. Sorry. We are not so far from the airplane, uh, from the airport Warsaw, from the international airport Warsaw, yeah. sorry. And uh, every 15 minutes comes an airplane here, but it's, it's every, nice. every three minutes. You like hour. airplanes, right? <laughs> Yeah, well, this is this. This is my another hobby, I would yeah. say. Uh, Frank can tell you a little more about this. Uh, I am also building a 737 flight simulator at home. Not mm. an easy task because uh, I'm the only supporter of this hobby. Not my wife nor my kids. They don't really appreciate it. <laughs> yeah, it's the same as I said. My wife don't like so much the CNC machine, but that's okay. Um, <clears throat> 
Okay, and then you have an eager widget. Um, you try, you are our auto probe expert now. Well, after three months of <laughs> trouble with this uh, auto probing at the Gerbil, yeah, then but now you have a tiny G on the yes, I've got a fine, I've got a tiny G, oh. so uh, I've got it to be honest, uh, for a very good price, which is sure, <laughs> sure, tiny G, whatever. Uh, so many thanks, guys. <laughs> And I'm still I'm still working on this auto auto leveling issue, so I hope I will be able to help the whole community with that. Uh, also, uh, I started uh, using the the CNC 3040 for milling boards, and I found quickly uh, that I cracked a bit just because the Eagle widget didn't have the S. Comment for yes, comment, M, yes. M3 S and you put the RPM to, to start the spin, right? So, uh, so the workaround at the beginning was just to edit the text file, the G-code file in a, in a text editor and just yeah. replace M3 to M3 S 16,000, whatever. Yeah. But finally, I decided to uh, modify the, the widget, and uh, then John Lauer, thank you, John. He, uh, Thank you, John. he accepted this uh, pull request on, ah, on, cool. on GitHub and this uh, S something parameter, adding this S parameter is now available for, for, uh, for, for all the Chili Pepper users. Uh, for uh, sure for Tiny G, for sure for Tiny G, well this is the one I'm using right now. So sure I think we, we use uh, the main code from John. And uh, I have to check this. Maybe at slash xpix. I don't know if it yeah. happened or not. I don't remember what, that, but this can be easily easily checked. Yeah. And also, uh, I've got a second 3D printer in my garage. While we discuss with uh, Frank today, <laughs> uh, I don't need two 3D printers actually. So this box was unopened, and this box will soon fly to. Uh, Germany, thank you, Sebastian. <laughs> <laughs> yes, now I think uh, I will build this in the next month and I have also a 3D printer. Not very nice for my wife, but cool for me and I can prototype uh, my things, you know, very fast and so on. It's not so bad. Yes, and I was very happy. Happy and printing. It was good high value to come to Warsaw. No? <laughs> yeah, we are yeah. going to do some more sightseeing tomorrow. Yes, we try to, uh, we drive to, to, to Gedankst, Gedankst is a nice Polish bit, name, yeah. uh, Danzig in German, and uh, yes, enjoy a little bit uh, the beach of Gedankst, of the Baltic Sea. Uh, I learned this, yes, in, in German it's Ostsee, but uh, here in Poland uh, they call it as Baltic Sea. Sea. Yeah, it's very cool. And <clears throat> yeah, then it's... Uh, I, I think have that's to it for fly now. to home, right? Oh yeah, Wednesday morning. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Yeah, but it's okay. <laughs> I will cry, it but was, his wife uh, will be happy. So four days, very nice, uh, 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 very nice moment here um, in Warsaw. Huh? Yeah, that's I think all. one one thing we have to mention. Yeah. Today is fifteenth uh, of August, which is a day of Polish uh, National Day of Polish Army. Yesterday we saw uh, the last the last. General probe. General probe for the for the defilade for the yeah, and here the pictures of this. X uh, ATC uh, machine. Yeah, this extreme simple automatic tool changer. What is the status and what are the plans where we can? Uh, the status is uh, it works, <laughs> <laughs> works as designed, but you now with this expensive gator grips. Yes, one piece of them cost around ten dollars, and 
I think it was made for this X80C, but uh, I don't like it really. Yes. And uh, if you check my channel on the mm -hmm. G Plus, you see I try to make a second version of this um, uh, very cheap. I think very cheap, made in aluminium D-bond. It's a, a sandwich material. I showed you this yesterday. Yeah, you have all. Uh, uh, yeah. Normally, they use the the photograph used this for for some photos and so on. It's very very stiffness and has on the bottom and on the top side a very small, yeah, aluminium plate yes. and then between is plastic. And this is baked in the oven and very stiffness. And I like this material very much. You see forward here. You see a photo from this. And then, um, yeah, I try to find a, a firm, a professional firm, they make this in license for me. Mm -hmm. Or I want to publish the plans on the internet okay. and um, I have also this uh, milling G-code and everybody can try this yourself. And uh, I think it's a good idea. Also, the, the, uh, the, I realized this as macro. Yes, you can uh, load this in your chili pepper and then you have to only replace one the M6 with chili pepper pores, X80C, and then T1, T2, T3, whatever you want. Right, but your spin on controller, while we ah, yeah, discussed yeah, yeah. earlier today, you can't use the default yes. spindle controller of Sadly the CNC not, yeah. 3040. You need a one which is which is which allows you to go forward, backward, and also provides current sensing. Correct? Current sensing also uh, immediately break. Very okay. important. Yes, and you can drive forward and backward in different speeds. And uh, okay, it was a little bit expensive, but thank you, Synthetos, 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 the makers yeah. of uh, Tiny G. Uh, they sent me this as present from America and was very happy, but I have to pay tax. Ah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. The tax control come to me and say, hey, what's wrong? <laughs> uh, we get 20 euros from you. And the, the, the funny thing, he sent us with FedEx and FedEx sent you a bill after right. two weeks. I think, oh, everything is good and so on. And then, ah, yeah, you have yeah. to, we have to pay tax you for you. You pay tax and you pay probably FedEx service. Yeah, for 20 euros is okay. Yeah. The driver is a little bit expensive. And maybe somebody from you in the community with some eager experience and so on can, um, yes, can copy this on and we can make uh, PCBs in China and then uh, we make yeah. uh, our things yourself. Also, the complete system X displays with the X80C with uh, soldering on the CNC machine, solar dispensing and so on need, I think, a complete um, uh, own controller, yes, you can call right. it X displays controller. We have some nanos, we have some stepper drivers, and uh, I see. Yeah, uh, also, right. I want to try this, uh, realize with ESP8266, uh, and uh, also we have a servo to block the spinner, don't block the spinner. Yeah, we see forward. It's a yes. long running project. Two sided boards in the future also have it in mind. Yeah. We need a controller for that. We discussed that yesterday evening. Yeah. <laughs> Sitting here with some beers. Sitting here, some beers, <laughs> smoking cigarettes, and thinking about uh, yeah the world, yeah. the CNC world, and so on. And the good thing is, at the end of September, my wife is uh, going to Russia for three weeks, and I hope I can push a little bit my project. Now it's summertime, you see. Um, I'm flying around the world, <laughs> not so far from Germany, and uh, yes, we uh, yeah we enjoy a little bit oh. of free time. Hello. The next people are flying to vacation. Enjoy a little bit of free time, the summer time, and then the winter time, you know, it's a hobby time. Yes. And we'll, we'll so, more I more want to say goodbye. We we'll see us in the next video session, I hope in two, three weeks. And many thanks to Sebastian. Uh -oh. Yes, I can sleep here in this house. That's no problem. Get a 3D printer for free. <laughs> it was great. <laughs> okay, bye bye. Thank you guys. Bye bye. And now you don't record it. This. Ah, <laughs> I have to stop. No, no, no. no.